In this video we'll be having a quick look at how to install uh, the service kit, in this case on the MS-180. A couple of air filter options, one for the older model, one for a newer model. This one is the newer model, so that's the one we'll use. Then the spark plug and fuel filter. We're going to use the normal bar spanner, hold the uh, choke down, lift the cover off. There we have the air filter, so the new replacement. The spark plug. The old plug out, fit the new plug in, have it just an inspection to make sure the gap is uh, looking good, it's not been closed up from being dropped or banged, in this case it looks good, fit the new plug in, do it up you know, nice and firm, not too tight. So that's the air filter, spark plug done. Now the fuel filter. And uh, you'll need to use a hook of some description. Uh, of course you can get your own bit of wire and bend your own little hook up if need be. Then you can hook the fuel filter uh, with the hose up out of the tank. Pop fuel filter off, put the new fuel filter on, make sure the hose and filter are hanging down freely in the tank, cap on, and that's pretty much all the components done. Of course we want to make sure everything's clean, so if need be, get in there with the likes of a bristle, bristle brush. Uh, a nice rag to wipe, wipe things down or if you're lucky enough to have compressed air that can be helpful just be careful that you don't get carried away blowing onto things you shouldn't drop the cover back into place lock it in and there we have it a serviced chainsaw